Hi there, I'm back and I'm doing a short video here uh, back to the dual action blender by Oster. I had a, a request from one of my viewers um, to show how um, how to make a smoothie in the to-go cup that comes with this blender. So it is, it's tall but it's very narrow so I don't have as many ingredients in here as I usually do in the blender container. But I have, um, and this is one of those things where you kind of want to do reverse order where you do um, you always end with the hardest things on top to kind of weigh everything down and kind of take it easy on your blender with the soft near the blade. This you have to do in reverse order because the blade's going to be on top when you put it together. So I have ice at the bottom. I have a couple of cups of water. I have some pineapple chunks, some fresh baby spinach, and some bananas. And we're just going to take the blade off of the jar. Okay. Blades and the the gasket. So we're going to put the gasket on there first. Carefully get the blades in there. All right, and then the end cap to hold. got to kind of make sure that that gasket doesn't slip into the jar. And then you've got a mess. All right, so there we go. Let's give it a give it a whirl here and see how it goes. All right. Okay, well that was quick. Now I did notice this is really smooth. I mean, you look at it. I mean, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. There's no chunks of anything left behind. Um, but the jar is much heavier uh, than this uh, smoothie cup. Let me back up so we can see everything again. Um, so it, I don't know if you noticed that when I put it on there and I hit the frozen drink button, the whole blender started to move. This kind of went back and forth a little and I kind of held it down until it stabilized itself. But let's take a look at what we have here. Now I'm going to, let me move this down so you can see what's going on. I'm actually going to pour this into another glass. Obviously you wouldn't do this if you were, you know, making your smoothie and then put the cap on it and go. But I just want to pour it into another glass, a little bit of it, so we can see um, how smooth it is. All right, so let's just close in on let's just close in on that a little bit. There we go. Let's see how, how smooth this is. Wow, look at that. That is silky smooth. Now, granted, there weren't as many ingredients in here, but that that's incredibly smooth. Let's take a taste. Wow, that is really, really smooth. All right. I'm going to pour it back in just for a minute. And we'll put, whoopsie, sorry about that. And we'll put the cap on. Okay, now, since this is a travel mug, I want to test this out, make sure nothing's leaking, especially if you're on a bike or you're hiking, it's going to be shaken and moved around a lot. So far, I don't see anything coming out. It looks pretty good. All right, let's see what it's like to drink out of the tube here. Okay, that does work really well. That raised lip works really well, um, you know, so you don't have anything leaking and dribbling down your chin when you drink out of it. So, well, so, uh, again, I don't use it because it is plastic, but um, just for for demonstrating it for you guys, it works really, really well. Um, although it does uh, move the blender around a bit because it's so lightweight, it doesn't weigh it down like the the glass one does. So you, when you start this up, don't start it and walk away. You might want to put your hand on it to kind of stabilize it a little bit, at least until the hard things like the ice or whatever else you have in there 
hard veggies or something have ground up and you don't have anything knocking it around. So um, again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like my videos and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thanks a lot and have a great day.